I ordered my Tesla Model 3 back in February and I finally took delivery of it yesterday. A Tesla Model 3 long range with a white exterior and the white interior. I finally have it on my drive outside and I'm going to tell you about the day and my experience of picking it up in lockdown. So a couple of weeks ago, around about three weeks ago, I got a text as the Grand Aurora ship left the Panama Canal that I could now book delivery for my Tesla Model 3. And the earliest appointment slot that they gave me was the 7th of December at nine o'clock in the morning. So of course I took it. Even though it was my girlfriend's birthday, I told her that she was now coming along to Southampton to pick up my Tesla as soon as possible. And she had absolutely no say in the matter. So we got the train down to Southampton early in the morning. And I was incredibly nervous about picking up the Tesla. I, I don't know why, but I just couldn't eat anything for breakfast. Anything I tried to eat, I just couldn't like swallow it down. I was just so anxious, but it just felt like the last three, four years of having dreamt about getting a Tesla and saving up for one. And then finally getting to that point was all coming to this like climax. I know it sounds so stupid, but it's been a big like aspirational goal for me. After sitting in Mackey's for a bit, we ended up walking over to the port and got shouted out by a big scary port man. Uh, who's like, I, I mean, that's how they talk. He asked me what I'm doing here. And I said, I'm, I'm leaving for a Tesla. And he, and he, he just made noise really. So as we walked through the port, I was getting more and more excited because I saw Tesla's lined up in this lot behind these big iron bars. And I thought, this is it, Ellen, get the camera out. Let's start filming. Let's film like me coming up to the car. It's going to be exciting. And all we ended up filming was me walking up to some closed metal gates and going up to them, up to the bars and saying, hi, uh, is this where I get a Tesla? Like, is this where I pick up my Tesla? And um, the guy looked back at me and he said, now, nah, mate, you need to walk another 15 minutes that way. This is this is just where we hold them before delivering. So I felt like an absolute tit and then took the long journey to the cruise terminal where when we arrived, all the Teslas that they were delivering that morning were all lined up nice and looking all pretty in front of the cruise terminal, ready for you to drive away. What are you doing today, Aaron? I got my Tesla. Uh, it's right there. It's literally in front of us. How are you feeling? I'm very excited. Um, it's taken us a long walk to get here. <laughs> and we're going to put the camera away so we don't look like every other YouTuber. So after we found the car, which I knew what it was from the number plate, and I mean, it was the only one that had the white interior there, we queued up. There was an old man in front of me who didn't really say much other than, Hello. And he quickly signed his papers with the man, with the Tesla dude in front and headed off in his Tesla. He didn't even check over the car. He just got in and drove off, which blows my mind. Like when you spend 50,000 pounds plus on a car, I'd expect you to at least want to check it over that there's no dents or dings or paint chips, hint, hint uh, on it before you take delivery. So he drove off. And we went next in the queue, spoke to the Tesla man. He was very nice. He asked my name. He made me sign away on the phone screen. And he said, you know which car is yours? And I said that one. He said, all right. And he just walked back inside. Uh, that was it. Like the car was unlocked. The keys were in the center. And we were just left to our devices to go and have a look around the car. Me and Ellen spent around about an hour checking over the car because I've heard so many horror stories online that Tesla's like have dings or chips or have broken bits on them when they get delivered. So I wanted to make sure that the Tesla I'd spent all this money on was in good condition. And after looking over the car, like every single little bit, we found that there was some tearing on the rear passenger seat. There was a ding in the door seal, uh, the door well, the door door trim, the door, door sill. In the door sill, uh, there was a little dent in there. And on the front bonnet, a little ding. They'd gone over with Tipex which looked like absolute dog shit. I, I, uh. So I logged all these things, took photos, took photos outside the cruise terminal to be like, you know, this was here before I even drove the car and we stepped inside. That's just kind of when all the problems melted away. I mean, all these little damages and stuff, they can be fixed easily uh, under warranty. I wasn't worried about that. Aaron, why did you call her Aurora? Because the boat that she came on was called a Grand Aurora. And my last car was called Felicia and Ellen named her. Uh, because I wanted the whole, by Felicia. But stepping inside the Tesla and driving it, I mean, I was so blown away by it all. I mean, I'd watched a hundred videos on YouTube. I had been in my friend's Tesla in the UK, Chad's Tesla. So we took it out of the city. We went to the New Forest, the local national park, and I put my foot down and it was just so much fun. I, I can't, the actual driving experience of driving a Tesla is like nothing else. 
On the drive home, we hopped onto the motorway. I put autopilot on and it... The concept of like a Tesla driving itself, like a car driving itself, like feeling the wheel move in your hands is quite scary. Um, not going to lie. But once we're on the actual motorway, it was a very pleasurable drive home and uh, very enjoyable. So now a day later, it's been sitting out on the driveway and I keep looking at Aurora and wanting to take her out. So we did yesterday evening. Me and Ellen drove to our local supercharger, which was an hour and a bit away. And we got McDonald's. I was very anxious if it was actually going to fit through the McDonald's drive through but it did in the end without a problem. I just had to be a bit careful as it's so long. This is exciting. <laughs> Can I just get a regular Coke? Uh, full fat, no ice? Yeah, any for now. That's all, please. Lovely. Next one, do any ready? Cheers. Hasn't really set in yet that I... This is yours? Uh, this is by Tesla, yeah. Thank you. I think that's it. Yeah, I can see them. I can see them in the distance. This is adamantly telling me to go under the Holiday Inn car park. Oh, Tesla. Oh, there was a sign. Tesla supercharging. Okay, we're heading in. I'm excited. I'm excited. Uh, I don't know if there's any other Teslas here. I think the chargers are right up here. I'm very excited. I've never supercharged my Tesla before. Just in there, babe. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> it's this way. It's quite dark. I can't see. There they are. I know I'm doing a sh parking job, all right? I know We're I already can't. getting weird looks from the other Tesla I'm owner. I'm trying. Lord, yeah. He's gonna go, what a freaking noob, mate. If I park on here, I should feel it. Do I feel it? There's a, there's a bump, there it is. Bonk. That's it. Are you ready? Are you excited to go charge our first ever Tesla? I'm excited. And we just plugged her in. She didn't even need to be charged. Like she has a huge battery, but I just wanted to experience supercharging for the first time. Ellen also hasn't watched the hundreds of hours of Tesla videos that I have, so I wanted to show her what it's like. Oh, he's going. He's going. Yes, he's going to the petrol station. Perfect time. Let's go. Let's go, Ellen. Because then it won't be awkward. Oh, no, there's another Tesla coming. Um, <laughs> right. Plug, yeah, grab it. Da, 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 da. Open. Um, you grab that. Lift it up. It's very heavy. Can she do it? She's got it. Go, go, go. Plug it in. And then it should turn green. Flashing. I think that means connecting. There we go. That's it. It's charging, mate. It's charging. Mate, it's literally gonna take 12 minutes. That's so quick. So the car's charging. We came here with about 55%, not very much. And I know you're meant to use superchargers when you've got really low battery. Uh, it's already been like one minute and it's at 58%. I'm charging it to 80% and then we're gonna head on home. Uh, this is exciting, isn't it? Yeah, we've got our hot drinks. We've got our hot drinks. We're going to enjoy our, our drinks and chill yes. for our first ever super I, I just can't get over like, I'm so giddy. Like, you know those memes where it's like uh, you versus the, the girl he tells you not to worry about? Yes. Yeah, basically. That's, that's like, now this car. Yeah. <laughs> Luckily, supercharging the car, even for that tiny amount, actually ended up being free because I had a, a bunch of free supercharging miles Thanks to my friend Chad and his supercharger referral code, which I'm going to be like every other Tesla YouTuber. If you're going to order a Tesla or you're considering it, use my referral link. Don't use the ones that the bigger channels have because they already have tens of thousands of supercharger miles that they're never going to use. Shop local. Keep it nice and small. Go for your small YouTuber who doesn't have very many followers and the supercharger miles will go a lot further. So my link's down in the description. Use those. You also get a thousand free. That's quite important to mention. I, I should mention that. But that covers pretty much my lockdown picking up experience of my Tesla Model 3. It was very hands off. There wasn't very much interaction with the Tesla people at all or anything like that. Overall, it was a very good and exciting day. I am excited to get out and do some more Tesla videos. There'll be more videos coming up on this channel soon. Uh, so make sure you hit subscribe. And if you have any suggestions, put them down in the comments. Thanks for watching. And I shall see you in the next video, which will be coming out in a few days' time, looking over all of the changes in the new Tesla Model 3 compared to the old one. Because by golly, there has been quite a few, and I'm very excited I've got the newer car with the new changes, because they're quite nice. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. I've never plugged it in. So I pressed the button. I was thinking about it. Hello? Oh, you have to hold it down. Ah, that's it. Do you want to stick your tongue on it? Sure. Can you imagine? Oh my god, that just closed all by itself. Wow. And Aaron is struggling. You got it? I think it's it. It seemed a bit 
glitchy. 